everyone, I'm Sanji. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you will be notified when I upload a brand new video. Also, there's a link in my description box leading you over to my Patreon channel. I would love for you to become a patron. As always, you are encouraged to hit a thumbs up and a comment below because I am enjoying hearing what it is you have to say. So, now that we've got all the business out of the way, let's get on with our next video. Welcome to the Cancer Series. In this series, we're going to be examining Sun Sign Cancer. What we're going to do is put Sun Sign Cancer with every zodiac sun sign. That's right. We're going all the way from Aries to Pisces. So if you're interested in how you fare when you're paired with Cancer, or you simply like to better understand the Cancer in your life, keep watching. Hi everyone, I'm Sanji. Welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and stopping by. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button right down below. Also, if you would please hit the bell so that way you can be alerted when I upload new content. So, let's jump into it. We are talking about Cancer. And Cancer, we are pairing you with Aries. So, how do you two match up? Let's see. Okay. So, first and fundamentally, here's the thing. You guys are going to have some challenges. <laughs> Why? Well, Aries is a very present here and now type of sign, typically. You know, um, they're not worried about what is gone. They're worried about where we're at and where we're going, which is contrary to Cancer because Cancer likes to remember where they've been and they have a tendency to rehash the past. And let me just say, for the record, Cancer, Aries isn't here for that. No. <laughs> that's, that's not what they do. So, um, yeah, you might want to start with that, you know, and remember when and you did da 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 back, you know, two, three weeks ago because you are going to start a fire that you might not want to start. Okay? So, just putting that out there. I had to say that for you. Before we get started, the fundamental difference is that you two have to stay right here. When there is a problem, handle it right here. And um, when it's handled and when it's resolved, cancer, All right, so let's get on to the rest of the good stuff because it's, you know, but that's that's a major snag for you guys. So I figured I would just go ahead and give you that one right up front. Okay, now, so you two styles are radically different. That's okay. You know, everybody's not the same. Yin and yangs get together all the time. Opposites attract. This can be one of those instances where that happens to be so. Okay, but you have the potential to make a great team. You do. Of course, you've got to make some compromises, but that's why you're here. I'll tell you what to do. <laughs> so, in most instances, everywhere, they say, Cancer, you're moody and unpredictable. They said it. I didn't say it. Okay, so. You are. In this pairing with Aries, they like it, okay? So it is not a problem. Hallelujah. See that? So you can be moody. You can be hot and cold with Aries. And Aries enjoys it because Aries likes adventure. They like delving into the unknown. So them not knowing what mood you're going to wake up in is fantastic for them because, you know, it's like dating somebody at a buffet. You don't know what they're going to put out today. And Aries can handle it. So do you, Cancer. 
See, told you, there are some good things in this appearance. That being one of them. Okay, now, you just have to remember, however, Cancer, that you don't shut down so much that you allow your fluttering butterfly, Airy, <laughs> to flitter on off because they do that and and when they do that and if you're closed down they have a tendency to lose track of time and forget to bring themselves on back so you want to communicate you know i'm having one of those days love you boo and aries you want to say oh, i care all about you sweetie take all the time in the world you're just so fantastic love you miss you and um do you would be bad but don't do you too much aries because you know, y'all can do y'all a little bit too much sometimes. Don't forget, you're in a relationship. Just saying. Yeah, I'll tell y'all about that part too. Okay, <laughs> what else did we talk about? Well, here's the thing. As I said, Cancer, you're going to be a little moody. You're going to have your mood. Aries is going to be okay with that. However, Aries, you need to check back in. Now, I know you like when Cancer withdraws. That gives you the opportunity to just go ahead out there and be rambunctious, so to speak. <laughs> cool it, okay? We know you don't like to feel trapped. We know that when Cancer gets into those moods and leads you off to do you, you, do you and enjoy it. No. Cancer doesn't like to feel abandoned. So you've got to make those calls. Check in with Cancer. See how they're doing. Because if you don't, Aries, they're going to take that as a sign that you don't care. And you and I both know that Aries are very loving people, right? So there's another little helpful hint. Check in. Be empathetic. Go the extra mile. I know you don't want this, but your Cancerian does, Aries. So please do that. Okay? Mm, it'll help. I'm telling you. So you know, here's a, here's something else, you know. So you say you have a Cancerian and they've noticed that, you know, when they get a little moody or, or and start feeling a little melancholy, they want to stay in and detach. They realize that you go out, Aries, and have a good time. Yeah, Cancer is very intuitive and very observant. So they're going to catch on to your little game. Oh, yeah, they're going to catch on. So then they're going to forsake the moodiness and go out with you. Now, Aries, here is another wonderful opportunity for you. Allow me to give that to you. Be a little jealous, okay? When you see someone checking out your fiery, sexy Cancerian, pull them close, okay? Be, be, be a little possessive of them. That will translate very well to your Cancerian and establish some trust for when you are out there doing you. And <laughs> it will also solidify some things in the relationship for yourself. Now, okay, here's another cautionary tale for you, Aries. When you are displaying your possessiveness and your tad bit of jealousy, make sure that it is a tad bit. Do not go over the top. I mean, let's face it, Aries, of all the zodiac signs. You're the one with the reputation to be in bar fights. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Mm. Don't do that. <laughs> That's not going to translate well. That's not going to get us where we want to be. We want our Cancerian to feel loved and secure and to be able to trust you. Not to feel like when you're out there, you're in a bar fight and you not, might not make it home. You see? You see the difference? You want to be nurturing and loving and pull them close and 
say the little sweet nothings you need to say to make your Cancerian feel loved and wanted and to let other people know that, you know, this is yours, stake your claim, okay? But we don't want to punch the guy or gal in the mouth that's interested in your Cancerian, okay? You got me? You sure? You can always play this video back. Okay, so you've done those helpful hints. You guys are good. You get home, you go out, you know, you're both in the mood because we know that cancer has to be in the mood. So you're in the mood, Aries, you don't care. You'll have it with <laughs> Never. So you'll take the mood. You'll take the adventure. And you're on to the good part. The bedroom. Hmm. Now this is where it gets interesting because as i said you guys have some differences in how you translate your needs and your wants i have some helpful hints to make sure that your communication is crystal clear both in and out of the bedroom i have those in part two on my patreon channel I'll see you over there, Cancer and Aries. You guys are a pretty interesting matchup. I enjoyed learning about just exactly how you guys work well and not so well together. See you on part two. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.